What's up, Erks? It's Joe here with a Fallout 4 mod update. This means I have added mods to this current playthrough, so I'm going to go ahead and list them all off with a brief description of each one, and I'll have them also listed below if you guys want to check them out for yourself. So the first one is Bob Ross Happy Little Paintings, and this just takes some of the paintings in the game and replaces them with Bob Ross paintings. The next one is Create Your Own Survival Rebalance. Basically, Vanilla Survival has your damage at 0.5 times the normal on normal difficulty, so basically your damage is cut in half, and enemies' damage is multiplied by two. So they're dealing double damage while you're dealing half damage. I thought that was a little bit kind of eh, so I went with the one that makes it so that you do one times damage and they do two times damage. So they're still doing the normal damage, however my damage isn't nerfed. It is not boosted up to their level, which I have previously tried boosting up to their level. I even tried going beyond that and making it three times for both sides, but so far I like the one times damage for myself and the two times damage for the enemy. I guess we'll go ahead and see how that works. If I change it anytime in the future, I'll let you know. I have easy hacking, which just basically eliminates the hacking minigame because honestly, if we have the skill check or we have the perk for it, why not be able to hack? Think about it. The hacking in this game, you don't really get locked out. Well, you do get locked out, but it's 10 seconds, and honestly, if it's really important, I would probably just save before it anyway. So, really, it just kind of cuts the flow of the game. So, I have easy hacking. I also have easy lock picking, which does the same thing we're lock picking. I have enhanced blood textures, which just makes the blood look a little bit better, a little bit higher resolution. I have the full dialogue interface, which if I talk to Dogby hey. here, as you can see, it's listed right here with 1 through 4, and this will also change all dialogue in the game. Basically, instead of those little snippets of what you're about to say, it lists everything you're about to say. It basically takes the subtitles of what your character's about to say, and it just lists it there, so you know exactly what you're gonna say before you say it, which is something you really should have. I also have no more cash register sound, which basically every time we earn XP, that cha-ching, that's gone. I have PAMS, Power Armor Movement Sounds, this just makes the power armor sound a little bit heavier, a little bit more metallic, a little bit like giant armor, unlike how it did in the game currently. And then I also have value per weight indicator for container UIs, and this, I don't know if it's actually, oh yeah, okay, it is near too. So basically it gives you the value for how much it weighs, and it just allows you to uh, see that a little bit easier. Now, I do have another mod, so I think this is the 10th one. Uh, however, I don't know how much I'm going to look into this one. It is a quest mod. Whoa! It's one of the first quest mods I have seen for Fallout 4. It is a Christmas quest mod. I don't know too much about it. It's just called the Xmas mod. Well, actually, it's called the Pre-Ek, pre yek Quest Xmas mod, Xmas mod version 2. I haven't really delved into it at all. I know where we start it. I know exactly where you start it. But again, I haven't really checked it out, so maybe we'll check it out sometime this playthrough, or maybe I'll do an individual video on it, or maybe I'll do it on stream. I honestly don't know, but those are the current mods. If I add anything new or change anything, I'll let you guys know. Anyway... Hope you enjoy it. Hope you try out some of these mods, because I honestly recommend them so far. That'll be it for now. Goodbye.